Bit of science, under pressure. Under, there's a song there, under pressure. Anyway, pressure on water, bit of science boo. So let's pretend I've got on earth, let's say I've got a big swimming pool and it's 30 meters by 10 meters. Water, H2O. On earth, I'll do that back. So on earth we got air pressure, which changes obviously due to the weather and things like that. So on earth, the air pressure is about one bar pressure, depending where you are, and I guess that's what some people use for pressure. It's also in Pascal, about one times 10 to the five Pascal. You also use that as well. So that water pressure, sorry, the air pressure is causing a force on this water, which we know that pressure, or we might know anyway, pressure is force divided by area. We've got to find the force. All I'm going to do is multiply the pressure and the area. Look, I'm going to bring the area up. Pressure, pressure times area is force. E times A, look. We know the pressure is one times 10 to the five Pascal, right? We've got to be in units. And the area is, well, it's 30 times 10, which is 300, isn't it? That gives us the pressure. That gives me a force, 0.5. That is about 30 mega newtons of force on that big swimming pool. Isn't that amazing? Air pressure, over and out.